now. Uh, we've just recently uh, had the results released of our most recent census, and courtesy of a change to our constitution 50 years ago this year, um, we were able to report on uh, a bit of the demographics um, of our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, just shy of 650 uh, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people in Australia, just short of 3% of the population. Uh, we are one of the fastest, if not the fastest growing proportion of the Australian uh, population. Uh, the growth rate between uh, in the Indigenous population from this census to the last one was 16%, and that compares to an 8% growth rate for the non-Indigenous population of Australia. We're, we are um, amongst the most second of Australia's people, and, um, and our growth is attributable to two things, natural growth um, through births, but also through an increasing uh, uh, disposition of people to identify um, as Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander people in official collections of statistics. And I think that's a good thing. I think it speaks to something about uh, our own agency as Indigenous Australians as we recapture a sense of ourselves uh, and our willingness uh, to, uh, to be very um, upfront about who we are. The other um, uh, thing that I, I wanted to show on this uh, screen is a bit of the information about um, our age profile. We're a very young population uh, in, a pop, in a general a national population that's getting older. Uh, the median age uh, of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people um, is 23. About 65% of our population is under the age of 25. That's a startling statistic. Uh, it's one that's full of great potential. It excites me that we have a young uh, indigenous population in Australia and uh, I point you again to the scholars that are here tonight as an example of what that means, not just for Indigenous Australia but for Australia in general. So I'd like to turn now and um, finally in terms of our, our work, I'd like to turn to the, um, the Country Needs People campaign. So throughout a, throughout Hugh's involvement in Australia, throughout our 10 years in Australia, we've advocated in partnership with Indigenous organisations and largely behind the scenes for a continuation and increase over time of funding uh, for, for Indigenous protected areas and Indigenous ranges. In 2005, we formed the view that all, although we had made significant progress and over that time period, an investment of around 700 million Australian dollars by the federal government in these programs. We felt that if we were to maintain the upward trajectory, if we were to address the plateauing in resources available for Indigenous resources and Indigenous protected areas, we needed to go out into the community to build public awareness and to build public support for ongoing and increased investment in this area. And so in late uh, 2015, uh, Country Needs People was launched. Country Needs People is an alliance of more than 30 Indigenous organisations supported by the Pew Charitable Trust that aims to secure increased long-term funding for Indigenous ranges and Indigenous protected areas. In particular, the three goals of the alliance, as, as decided by the, the Indigenous uh, partner organisations, the three goals are to uh, substantially increase the amount of funding available for Indigenous ranges and Indigenous protected areas, to ensure that those funding commitments are long term, and thirdly, ultimately to arrive at a situation where there are 5,000 Indigenous ranges actively managing land across the country 